All right, guys, round number six. And Ta versus the only game that started as of right now is this game between Ta and Yusuf. It's the only game that's, it's the only game that's begun. All right, here we go. Hog already from Ta. And looks like maybe some, maybe bridge spam from, okay, and Valkyrie's already on the board, okay? Nice. This could be lots of things still. It could be some kind of, okay, Queen diminishes what it could be. Maybe it could be some Mega Knight uh, spam deck with uh, Ram Rider. It's my expectation now. Back from the 6k grand, awesome. Awesome. Ooh, okay. Okay, I don't even know now. It's hard It's hard to even predict the Fireball. You usually expect Mega Knight with Lightning, but here we're seeing a Fireball from Yusuf. Interesting choice. Okay, Ghost again. Gonna be seeing a, okay, Delivery Cycle, sure. Not too bad. Maybe you can go for like a Skellies or something like that in the middle to block the Ghost. Now especially going to be needing something to cycle now. Valkyrie's on the board. Nice. Defending against the bad and the Bats. Yeah, those of y'all that are wanting like Molite and like Morton. And, uh, Morton actually was eliminated in like round three today. Uh, by Asaf actually. And and now, I mean, a lot of the players, like Molite and those guys are already qualified, so we can't show them today, unfortunately. Yeah. Let's see. I still want to know. Again, it was Ram Rider. I was right. It was Ram Rider, but it's interesting to see, to see it with with uh, with the fireball. Usually, usually I would expect I would expect the lightning and the, and the Mega Knight, but we're not seeing it here. Maybe wondering if you. Oh wow. Okay, so just just Mega Knight and fireball. So the double. Only, only interesting players up is Lucas. How is Todd not interesting? They hadn't even started a game. They they hadn't they have not even started a game, guys. Maybe they just started, but... I was trying to divert the Mega Knight, but it didn't work. The Queen came out of invisibility too fast. And Okay, Inferno Tower. Last card for uh, for Ta here. I'm wondering what this last card is for you, so it could be some extra spell, maybe? I will go to Lucas next game, you have my word. I, I, prom I promise I'll go to Lucas next game. Delivery's down, stopping the bandit. Is there in time for... Maybe you have to log instead. No, he gets the Inferno Tower down just in time. Very nice play. And oh, beautiful zap by Yusuf, making room for the bandit to dash. And a late log from Ta. That's a huge chunk of damage off the left tower. Nice play. Beautifully done. Okay, Quake Cycle is also the problem. So now, I mean, Yusuf's going to have to beat the Quake Cycling to win this game. Going to be a small spell? Yeah. It is the zap. You're right. You're right. Fox on the board defending everything. Beautiful. Uh oh. Oh, that Mega Knight jumps. Okay, nice. There we go. Inferno Tower is able to take out the entire Ram Rider with no problems this time. No way for Zap to punish that one. Very nice lead for Ta in this matchup. Okay. I'm expecting. I don't know about putting the Queen on that side. Interesting. I don't. I don't know. Interesting choice by uh by Ta to go for the Queen on the right. Usually I'd like to have my queen on the defense, but maybe he's trying to get it away from any fireball or something like that. It was lightning. Uh, if it was lightning, it's matchup for use. Well, right, because you can use the lightning against the Inferno Tower, but of course here, but fireball is a bit different. Ghost is another card in this that's really annoying because it forces out some of uh, Ta's better defensive cards. Like you have to play like a Valkyrie or something like that, or you or waste your Skellies, which is a very valuable centralizing defensive unit. Like if you want to play Skellies in the middle to defend everything on both lanes, so but you have to come to sometimes just cycle them against the Ghost, which is annoying. Nice log to push that back to save the charge. That's a big difference that will probably decide the match. The match can be decided by 200 HP, so that's a big big chunk of damage to avoid. So that was good work there. Again, barely, bar very narrowing, very narrowly dodging, dodging that game. <laughs> I can't talk. Very narrowly dodging that shot. If, if, if that log doesn't come in, that's huge damage. Nice bats trying to block in front of tower, and he gets it. That does work. Ghost coming in, trying to make as much defense available for that uh, Mega Knight, so the Inferno Tower doesn't get the get the value there. But Ta doesn't even need the Inferno Tower to kill that. He's he's fine without it. <laughs> Awesome. Long comes in. Three seconds left. Wow. Close game, but still, the Earthquake cycle was just too much. And Ta. Wow. Ta is going to win the first game of that set. Very well played. Very well played.
Okay. Now we gotta go to Inaraj. Everyone wanted Lucas. Your tribe Lucas is just starting. See? Look at that. Look at that. I told you they just started. Lucas against Inaraj here. Wallbreaker split. Okay, could be... Oh, this might be another Mega Knight deck. So we've been seeing a lot of Mega Knight today. One of the more popular archetypes we've been seeing today from players. Perfect timing? Yeah, yeah. Good opportunity. Okay, Dark Album on the other side. Nice. Okay, maybe this is not the most comfortable game. I'm guessing it's it could just be Rocket Cycle for Lucas. Maybe trying to win that way, but... If this looks like if this looks like Mega Knight again. I think this is going to be another Mega Knight deck from Inarash here at the bottom of the screen. I'm using EQ, it's honestly added pressure to win. If you're down 0-1, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, if, if you're running Earthquake, you kind of have to win because I mean that, that's that card is a game changer in many matchups. Very important. Earthquake just does so much damage. It's it does more damage per elixir than any of the spell, I believe. So it's very important to win those games when you run Earthquake. Or to at least have some significant way to deal with it if you don't, you know, th that's very critical. Okay, Ghost is coming down. Guards are there, nice. Yeah, I believe Inaraj is from France. He's from France. I Unless I'm crazy, I'm pretty sure he's from France. Okay, Queen comes down to defend against the Goblin Drill. Never heard of him? Okay, well, you do now. You, 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 that's the thing about Clash Royale nowadays. I mean, it's it's open qualifiers for everyone. Players like Ta were unheard of and won monthly finals last year. It happens. And you got to leave for the bracket? Yes! Exclamation point bracket. I'll type it in chat for you if y'all need it. Yeah, just go there. Just exclamation point bracket will take you straight there. Fireball comes in. Yeah, this is where we get uh, into a really... Uh, Annoying situation. You're able to defend easily with just Barbarrel, especially if the if the uh, drill doesn't come same lane. Yeah, but still, switching lanes makes it so that you can actually defend cheaper. Like if you go minor and wall breakers, you have to spend more on the wall breakers that way. But interesting choice. I want to see how he breaks through on this left side because I mean the Inferno Tower is very annoying. It's constant pressure against the Mega Knight, and it's hard to break through that. Had to be very, very key. See, like, like Valkyrie just sitting there just makes us the, the Mega Knight just dies. Mega Knight's gone. Now it's kind of hard to get that value, and the Queen runs right into the Inferno Tower that killed the Mega Knight, so so much value there coming uh, the way of Inaraj, and still slightly down. We'll say slightly down because of the cycling that uh, Lucas has been able to do, but definitely a good spot to be in, and oh my, the Rare Rider was too slow to slow down that that wall breaker. If, the, if that Snare had come down just a little bit faster, the Rare Rider would have defended that, but that's a big connection. One wall breaker hit for, for Lucas might be what decides this match. This might be really hard to beat now. I don't even know what you can do. You might have to... I don't, I don't even know. Bandit coming in, nice. Trying to defend the Inferno Tower at all costs. That's what you gotta do. When the Inferno, Inferno Tower is locked on that Mega Knight, you gotta make sure that it stays on the Mega Knight. It doesn't have any interruptions. Nice work there by Lucas to maintain that. Okay, just throwing a barbell right into the Inferno Tower. <laughs> and actually, I love the Ghost placement. Nice, we actually just fit, fit everything nicely there. And more chip. Lucas is perfectly playing these fireballs to make it so that everything is pushed away from the drill, so that the drill has an opening to hit the tower. Very important to play that fireball at just that moment to get that extra damage. Matchup's impossible. Drill ball. Yeah, but he's running into a lot of... like. Oh my gosh, Lucas connects with both wall breakers. That is huge damage, and this might be GG's. Honest, I'm pretty sure this is just GG at this point. And and honestly, Inarash has a lot of solid counters too. Like he does have the Mega Knight, he does have the the, the, the Barbarrel, he has the Ghost, and he has the Fireball. That's like four pretty good counters to these cards. I think Lucas is just kind of playing better. Uh, it's just really clean from Lucas so far. Esprit's the only way to reset. Yeah. The Inferno Tower does get a lot of value. I will say that. Inferno Tower does get a lot of value. Awful Duchess? I don't know, I don't know if I agree with that. Maybe trying to snipe something or I don't know. Yeah, MK jumps to still both connect. Okay, let's show who else is up. Let's go to um Hold on. We got this game going on still. 
Droxbeal versus Igor. The man who took down Ruben at the top of your screen versus Droxbeal. And okay, yeah, Dro like I said, guys, Droxbeal's always playing these Lava Hound decks. Y'all are telling me Droxbeal's an E Giant player, but he's always playing Lava Hound. Like every single matchup, he's playing Lava Hound today. Best way to counter Mega Knight? There's tons of ways, guys. Inferno Tower was just we just we just showed it. Inferno Tower, Inferno Tower is just insane. And there's also like plenty of cards like Prince, mini pack of those types of cards. Tank Shredders work very nicely against Mega Knight as well. There's several ways to defend, to defend Mega Knight uh, easily. Several ways to do that. Okay, I love these tombstones by Drox. Well, you have to get the tombstone in the back there. The only reason for that is to make sure there's a defense for that graveyard. It's going to be kind of annoying. Yeah, look at the Skelly Dragons. Not really able to defend that. It looks like this is over, and Igor is going to win against Droxbeal, too. Nice. Good stuff. Okay, let's go to the next game. Not switch accounts. Not switch accounts. Not that either. Here. What is this? Yeah, dude, it's <laughs> these types of events. We have we have we have some sus chatter sometimes. Okay, Barbara comes in, nice, beautiful. I feel like we just saw this deck from from at the top of the screen. I feel like we just saw this the same bait deck like a few games ago. Maybe it was like someone else that played it though. And actually, maybe it was Yusuf in the last round. Am I crazy? I can't remember. Oh, a tricky barrel rocket hidden behind it. Not gonna trick Ta. Ta sees that. Barrel is not gonna be able to break through that way. Rocket barrel change from drill wall. Oh, okay, so it's very similar, just a couple of different cards. Okay, sure. Nothing unreasonable. I wanna see how. Ooh. Yeah. Lots of damage can come in from the graveyard, though. Dark Goblin is a good counter. Uh, it's kind of on top to defend against the Dark Goblin, because if you can get you, your Dark Goblin set up on defense against the graveyard, you're usually doing okay. That's a huge connection on the right side, though. That's tons of damage for Yusuf. Several hundred damage there from the Dark Goblin, and, and that's that might be bringing this back to a close game again. Yeah, where's the Dark Goblin when you need it now? No Dark Goblin available to defend against this graveyard, and now you're taking tons of damage. Ta wins the set. Yusuf's out. Ta goes into the top four. Ta won the first game of this, too. Ta is in the top four now. GG's, let's go to... Why is... Why are these guys not online? Like, why is Inaraj not online? Nikoko's not online, either. Ta making a run again, yeah. Do I have him added on this account, maybe? Maybe I have him added on the other account. Let's see. No, I, Nico is supposed to be playing here. I don't know what's going on with that. I do have Nico added for sure. Unless he just removed me. <laughs> I've been getting removed today. That's what's been happening today. Yeah, no, I still have Nikoko, so we're just waiting. I'm just waiting for this Droxbill game to start. It's the next game to start now. But yeah, again, I want to say thank you to everyone for being here. Thank you. First time for me casting Serial. Nicholas, thank you for the follow. Patty Whack Twitch, thank you. Quick Turtle, thank you guys. I'm seeing y'all's followers. Amazing Duck 91, 007. Thank you so much. Really appreciate you guys. Push 17 now. I'm actually 16 and 2 right now in my global tourney right now. 16 and 2 is great, but I could do better. I love how you made that clan and still getting removed. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's okay. But th they're not removing me now, actually, which is nice. But I, all that's happening is... I mean, Ta's already qualified. Ta's already top four. So that's already locked. I mean, Inaraj is not online. So unless Lucas already won that match... I mean, Droxville needs to play. I guess we're approaching semifinals now. 
When do I play again? I'm not I'm not playing, guys. I'm not I'm not a player. Yeah, Lucas did win 2-0. So now Ta and Lucas are qualified for the top four. And we have uh Nikoko versus Sub. Still, still supposed to be happening. Now it's gonna what do I think of the long cycle? <laughs> long cycle is Okay, long cycle is not a thing. Like you got you got to have something else besides long to cycle, unless you're crazy. No, 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 no. It's okay. They're not removing. I have these guys. I've got Droxville. I'll, I, I got the guys I need. Just waiting for the next game to start. Droxville and um, I also have sub, but I guess I should switch to this account for this. Hold on. Zach versus Moogie. When I did beat Moogie once, it's true. I did years ago. It's not false. I definitely did. I definitely did beat Moogie once a long time ago. Crazy cur turn of events. Moogie was playing the CWA Impossible Challenge like three years ago. He was playing Ebarbs 2.0 when Ebarbs sucked, and I was playing in regular GC trying to get my first ever GC win. Of course, I, I won, but I was playing Lava Hound Balloon, and he was playing Ebarbs 2.0. But I did technically beat Moogie. Is that a flex? I don't. I really, I really don't think so. He almost beat me, so I guess that's kind of embarrassing. Still waiting. Still waiting for these games. What do you mean sixteen two? If I don't play? Oh, I, I'm just. I'm not playing for this stream. I'm just. I'm just waiting for these games to start. Here we go. Droxpiel in the game. Beat Viper. Nice. I think everybody. I think a lot of top level players can beat a lot of other top level players. It just comes down to like matchups and stuff. Okay, Log comes down, Droxbill, okay, Skellies, Minor Figor. It's my favorite emote, Princess Yon. Very toxic, it's one of my favorites. Okay, here we go, this is where it gets interesting. Okay, it looks like it's probably just Hog Cycle again. I, this could be just Quake with Mini P.E.K.K.A. We've seen this one a lot of times today. The players opting to play Hog Earthquake with no building, which is rare in this meta. And again, this is a great matchup for Igor. If this is actually Hog, this is a great matchup for Igor. Igor has got a great situation against this. Inferno, okay, actually, I will say this. Now that I'm seeing the Inferno Tower, and now that I'm seeing the delivery, I think Droxpiel's chances are much better. Now, now you actually have a way to kill the Lava Hound, and you're, threat you're threatening delivery every time those Lava, Hounds pup, Lava Hound pups come out. This is a much better situation for Droxpiel at this point, and it might be enough for him to just win. Especially with the Queen also being available in this, in this matchup, this is a great spot to be in, I'd say. Like, generally speaking, this is great. Okay. Okay, nice. Queen ability trying to get as much value as possible, but look at that. It, d the delivery comes in, shutting down the entire attack. Great stuff there. Are we going to be seeing... Oh, Lava Hound comes in again. Okay, cycling really back, really quickly back to that Lava Hound. Yeah, two in front of, in front of oh, if that if the flying machine drops, not quite, but still delivery just shuts everything down, and that's again great defense by Droxville. And look at that kite pulling the king over. Right, not that that was necessarily important, but that's clean, good control over the board. Yeah, look at this queen defense. Okay, kind of a waste of two elixir to be honest. Like I don't think that was a really solid use of elixir there. And, look, and now again, you're threatening to go for pigs. Inferno Dragon Inferno gets traded off. Droxpiel's gonna flip this game back, looks like. Should they add emote trading? No. Why? Why? Maybe they could, I don't know. Maybe they could, I don't know. Crazy. Okay, Queen comes down again. Yeah, this is all about getting a big Lava push, but you have to also block the Inferno Tower. The only chance for Lava Hound to win this is if Igor can find a way to block the Inferno Tower... Well, that's one way to do it is get the Inferno Tower out of cycle. That's a good start. Now you gotta try to snipe the Inferno Tower with the Flying Machine to try to win this game, but 
Ruxpin's in a great spot. Having the Inferno Tower is great in this situation. And it's just not just Earthquake cycling forever. Yeah, see, there we go. We're trying to block for the Lava Hound using the Scaly Dragons, and it worked! But again, the Queen is doing uh, a lot of work here, too. Look at that delivery coming in, just shutting down everything. Beautiful defense. Oh, Ice Golem's too late. Flying Machine locks on. That's a big mistake by Drox, but that is a huge error. You might need to go Queen Invisibility. He does. Trying to make room. So the Queen can stay alive for a bit longer, but that was a big, big misstep, and now it's a 40 HP game, and this is very close again. Igor may be going to top four if he doesn't, if unless Troxville can clutch this game up and come back. Serious damage coming in, 300 HP left. Now it's just a cycle, cycle game. Log, log earthquakes coming in now. Now Troxville's in cycle mode, trying to win this game ASAP. Ice golems are down. There he goes. Delivery's down. And GG's. Troxville evens this one up. One more game to go. One more game to go in this matchup. Still, I don't even know what happened with Nikoko. Is, is Nikoko still playing? What's going on with that? Nikoko won. Okay, so Nikoko is in the top four. Awesome. I didn't even get a chance to see a game of his. They must have ended really quick. I was. I got a game from Lucas. I got a game from Ta. I got two games from Ta, and I got, I'm going to get two games from Droxville as well. But this is the last game of, the, of top eight. We're going to be going into top four. Approaching the end. Two more rounds after this one. And we'll be done for the day. Long stream, long stream. Thank you all for hanging out. If y'all have been watching this most of this time, again, I, I said at the beginning, I'll be posting top eight. I'm recording this part of the stream right now. I'll be posting top eight on YouTube. Um, thank you all for all the followers. I am I am very grateful for you guys hanging out. And this is my first time doing Clash Royale League. Not my first time doing a big event like this, but first time doing Clash Royale League, which is cool. So thank you all so much for hanging out with me. Um... I hope to be back again. I might stream later tonight. I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet. I'm going to be very tired, obviously, because I'll have streamed for four hours or five hours during, you know, Clash Royale League. But... Two streams go next time. I tried. I, I tried. I had to do it with my computer, but it was really glitchy. So it was just not working. So I just was like, let's just, you know, focus on this. If I do two, then what happens is, like, what will happen is one will be working just fine. The other one over on the other side of me will just, like, freeze intermittently and not be a quality game to watch so like i just turned it off i mean i have it set up but it's not working that well I'll, i would need to buy like another one of these connectors like another one of these connectors here so i can get to like actual devices that would be that would be the move to get an ipad or something like that that might work if they invite me back we'll see what happens if i get another opportunity to cast an event like this then yeah absolutely i'll have some something better i'll figure something out for that don't worry But yeah, we still got uh, we still have five players still alive. Five more. I'm gonna change the title of the top five, which is kind of a weird title, but we have top three of the top four and two more players trying to qualify for top four. Droxpiel versus um, Igor is the last game for top four here. I'm just waiting for it to start. When it's top four, as soon as we're done with this, it, it's it's uh, every round is about forty minutes long, and there's eight rounds, so we got this is round six of eight. We got two more rounds. We got top four right next, and then after that, we got the finals. Yeah, we still have we still have only remember guys, there's only two spots available. Only two spots available. His boss in boss was eliminated, I believe, in round five. I want to say round five, a boss was eliminated. Uh, we had Asav going pretty deep into it, lost in round six. How do you qualify for one of these? Great question. Um, they had multiple in-game tournaments with a thousand players and needed to make top eight in that. So it, basically there's 32 in-game tournaments with a thousand players in them, and you had to make top eight in your in your tournament then the all 32 of the top eights made 256 players and those are the people that started in today's tournament very complex for more information i would check out clash royale league's website uh, you can just look at clash royale league rules or like clash royale.com those types of websites uh, will give you the information that you need to qualify for these types of events in the future 
Um, that, this is only the first of the Golden Ticket events. Oh, we are in, we are in uh, Brenchong Golden Edition today. Um, to qualify for World Finals, you need to win this event in its entirety. And also comes with a prize pool of $50,000. Any Oh, by the way, anybody that makes top the top two players today, both win $1,000. And play for more than that. So we'll see what happens here. Nikoko is coming online. That's nice, but still we need Droxbeal. Droxbeal is the last game to happen. Then we're going to be going into round seven in the semifinals. Yeah, this is about this is about to be the hypest this tournament gets. We're about to be at the qualifier stage, so we'll see what happens here. I, I I'm expecting Ta to win. I would I would expect Ta to win his set, and I would of course I would also expect Lucas to win his set. We'll see what happens with that. I would have liked to see though Ruben versus Lucas if that could have happened, but unfortunately, am I am I still in it? No, guys, I'm I'm casting it. There's only one more game to go in, in round of eight. What's going on, Hostel? Welcome to the stream. No, guys, I was never even playing. <laughs> I was never even playing it. But yeah, crazy stuff. These guys play really well. Um, just to make it this far, you have to win six rounds of best of best of three matches. And you can't repeat any cards. Fragger, what's going on? Still waiting for this game. It could be. It could be a bit, guys. I, I will admit. I will. Admit, it, could, it could be a while. I'll yeah, be. I'll be posting day seven as soon as we're as soon as we're done here. One last game. Man, I don't. I'm trying to think what was played. I mean, you can't. You obviously can't play. Lava Lava Hand's out of the picture. Darkspell has already used the Queen Quake Inferno Tower. All those cards. How to watch matches? Whenever Darkspell starts his game, we're going in. We're going in. It's it's the uh, it's our last our last game to watch. I have the, I have all the players out, you guys. We also got Ta for the finals, and if Droxbeal wins, here we go. Game number three, the decider for top four. Here we go. You get an email for watching this. No, there are no drops today. Um, Clash Royale has not done drops since 2018, so which is unfortunate, but we don't have drops today. Okay. Cannon cart. Okay, wow. Is this going to be some kind of e giant deck? Something we don't usually see. From Actually, you know what? You know what, you guys were telling me earlier today that Droxpiel's an E-Giant guy. So this might be actually the time to see E-Giant from Droxpiel. And, okay, it looks like it's going to be classic Queen cycle. But Lightning actually coming out, that's going to be tough for anybody playing Queen. Oh, and I actually, if it was me, I would totally not even defend the Mortar. And, again, pressure, look at that pressure on the opposite lane. Both sides taking serious damage. Droxpiel is in a great spot here. This looks like it might already be a decisive win. And depending on, actually, there's no Mortar either. You just played your Mortar. So it can be kind of hard to defend against this Ram Rider, and a Ram Rider connection as well. 500 more damage, another 200. Wow. That is a that is the best possible start you could ask for if you're Drogspiel. Very impressive start. Nice. Pushing back that queen. Not that that mattered, but uh, really nice. Mega Knight comes in, and okay, this is, looks very bad. Opponent's only at 4 Elixir. Mega Knight has to come in, and okay, you can take damage here. You don't, he doesn't even need to defend against the Mega Knight. He just needs to try to let his Mega Knight go through. He doesn't even need to worry about the Mortar. He needs to just try to push. Yeah, still up Elixir. All that damage, all that defense, still up Elixir even now. This is a, almost a perfect game so far, and a, a, a nice job. And I think, I think a serious, serious misstep by Igor is not playing the Queen in the first two games. The problem with that is, if you don't play the Queen in the first two games... The third game, you better play Queen, because it's like the best card in the game, so you gotta play it, which means when Droxbeal knows that, then of course you're going in for the Lightning. If that makes sense. I'm, I, I'm guessing that was just a mistake. I, I, I would imagine that you gotta play the Queen in the first two games just for that reason, because otherwise it's a snipe. You can just assume, okay, this guy's gonna play Queen. And... 
I, I would say I would say a very beautiful game thus far um, by Drox, but he's played almost perfectly. I, don't really, I really haven't seen almost any mistakes. Two cannon carts on the board. Two cannon carts on the board. That's always fun. Very hard to defend against that situation. The Rare Rider's going to be charged in the, the right lane. He's defending. In, he's doing a good job defending on, on the right, but the left, okay, the, yeah, the Ghost will lock. Oh, nope. Okay, actually, keeping those piggies down is going to be have to defend, but okay, Mega Knight as well. Drax was all over this matchup. He knows exactly what he's going to be running up against. Right, he can. He knows he can expect the mortar. Right, there's the mortar coming down. Nice, savvy to reset. Like, th this is just a beautiful game. We're gonna be seeing a couple more lightning cycles, and oh, if this ram rider makes it through, GG's. Droxbeal wins this one with not even too much of an overtime being played. Beautiful work, and we'll be seeing Droxbeal versus Lucas in the semifinals today. Wow, great stuff there. All right, I'm going to make sure that we have all the links we need. One second. Uh, Droxbeal versus Lucas. We have four players up. We have Ta, we have Nikoko, we have Lucas, and we have Droxbeal. Droxbeal is definitely the upset here. The, the, the biggest of the upsets of anybody here today. Definitely Droxbeal is the one that no, probably no one expected. Not a bad player, though. Seriously, a great player. He's been he's been doing like tournaments in my stream before. He's He's been around. He's a serious top player. Definitely has some serious wins. He's finished as high as 27 on ladder. Which is, of course, very impressive. Yeah, uh, admin said there were some problems between uh, between Igor and Droxbill for some mistakes. Whatever, I don't know what really happened, but we did have a delay there. I'm sorry, guys, for that delay. Benny, who's better? Is Benny casting today? I didn't know that. Thank you for letting me know. But yeah, we do have we have we do have uh, Ta versus Nikoko next round, as well as Lucas and Droxbeal. Wow, I I am surprised. I really thought we were gonna see Ruben, but Ruben inexplicably eliminated it really early in this round, actually. Just looking into it. Wow, this is gonna be crazy. I think I think we can expect some craziness. I mean, Nikoko has been playing. I think maybe the best player today has been Nikoko. In, in general, I would say Nikoko has played really well. Droxfield's played really well with his dex choices. Obviously, Lucas hasn't really made too many mistakes today. He's he's getting. I've seen. I'll, I'll say Lucas's bridge spam today has been incredible. Like just controlling the both sides of the board with constant pressure is really impressive from Lucas today. And of course, obviously, Ta. Ta, Ta brings that Japanese fire, man. When Ta plays, you can expect like just crazy decks, and that's that's what Jap what that's what the Japanese people bring to Clash Royale. What we see in in, in the Japanese and the Chinese regions, uh, those guys play just so creatively and so differently from the rest of the world. I've said it so many times. That's why that's why there was a there was a match like last year at World Finals, not World Finals at uh, at monthly finals where Ta ran something like balloon sparky freeze or something something that no one would ever predict balloon sparky freeze and just it just worked and it was beautiful and it it just it just it was just too much that type of stuff you never see in the european and, and uh, america's region that just different different regions different style and it's it's hard to predict if, especially if you're not playing if you're not from those regions but it looks like we're going to be getting ready for the last uh two rounds now This is the quarterfinal. This is the semifinal. Now we're in top four. Top four territory now. That was a nearly perfect game by Droxbill too. Like, really, really well done. That was a great game. Pretty much perfect. I don't know what else you can really ask for. Like, he just got pretty, he got pretty much every uh, good scenario he could have gotten. He got the best starting cycle he could have had, I think. And he played it right. And he actually even knew to run Lightning because the Queen was the only card that had been played. That's what you got to do if you're going to be uncompetitive because you got to make sure that you're not sort of giving away what you're going to play, or also giving away, I mean, like, you you want to be different from your previous match, like, when you play a match, like, you don't want to play the same decks that you just played in the previous match, because the opponent might see that, but also, I mean, cards like Queen are going to get played, so if you don't play them in the first two games, it's kind of obvious to predict, like, you're going to play Queen in the last game, so just a mistake there, and I think Drock just did a really good job predicting that. 
Just keeping in tune with those little uh, little, little things uh, can be the difference between winning and losing these events. Very impressive. Is it bright? Dude, it's there's one light in my entire room. It's the ring light. It's super guys, it's super bright. Like it's it's like that's why I'm wearing the sunglasses. It's really bright against my face, so I'm just trying to, you know, I'm just trying to like block it out. Like I, I don't I'm not a, I'm not ashamed of not wearing sunglasses. It's just like I'd rather uh, just relax. There is still one more chance. What do you mean? There's there's still there's still time for both players to qualify. Yeah, there, there's no no one's locked yet, but we are in the top four out of two hundred and forty five that started today. This is impressive. When did the semi start? In a few minutes. Should be starting in a few minutes. You're one beautiful man. Thanks. Thank you. We can't see the screen. Yes, that's by design. They're not playing. You want to see? They're not playing. I, I promise I'll, I'll show it as soon as it starts. I'm just, I'm on with the admins right now. I'm, I'm reading what the admins are saying. Yeah, when, when they start, I got you guys. Don't worry. Not a big deal. Kind of how these events go. So there's some delay because they're like, the, the players need some time to like see what their opponents have been running and like try to prepare. It's pretty standard in these types of competitive events. You, what you kind of want to see is like, oh, Looks like we may be starting. Here we go. Looks like Droxbeal. Maybe in a game here against Lucas. And here it is. Semis. Droxbeal versus Lucas. Top four. Okay, Hog Earthquake first play. And that's going to be a shot immediately. Tombstone Zappies on the board. Doesn't really defend against that Hog that great. We'll have to see if this is like some kind of Mega Knight deck. Fire Spirit's great here. Nice. Oh, actually kind of get interrupted by those Zappies. Skellies are kind of forced to defend pretty nicely there. Great. If this is a Mega Knight Graveyard, this is bad. It could also be, um, like, Skeleton King has been played a lot today. Especially combi in combination with Tombstone. You see a lot of Skeleton King with Tombstone because it spawns the Skellies, of course, and it feeds the... Yeah, there it is, Skeleton King on the board. And, okay, we can see, like, a, a log or something like that to get through. Graveyard. Yeah, this is definitely Graveyard on the side of Lucas, uh, but I don't think it's... It actually, it might actually be Mega Knight. Maybe it could be. It could be both. Yeah, so Pervo in the chat says, yeah, it is. This could be rough for Drock, but we'll have to see. Because, I mean, you are going to be able to cycle that Quake on defense. You're going to be able to defend your, your Earthquakes with, 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 with the... You're going to be able to defend the Graveyard with Quake. You're also going to be able to defend it with Log. There's lots of good ways to defend here. It's just... Are you going to be able to execute here, or are you going to flounder? Bomb Tower comes down. Actually, that's a good counter, too. Good, good to have Bomb Tower against your Graveyard as well. Oh, and he also picked Valk, which is nice. He's got pretty much all the cards he needs. Oh, when he gets the King, but wait, you need to log. There we go. Okay, he, do, he does log, but he, and he gets the damage he needed. That's a huge push. I actually think that was about as good as he could get there. He got the King Tower activated against Graveyard. He got 2,000 damage from Hog. He's only down 500 HP. I would say this is sort of a dream scenario. Okay, Queen's down. I'm worried about Inferno Dragon. I don't know why I am, though. You do have invisibility. This is getting sort of close. Invisibility might need to be played here. Yeah, there's all already half. Yeah, not yeah, not awful. Yeah, right, right. It's it's tough, but there's definitely some chances here. Especially with the king activated, this is much tougher to to win for a graveyard. It's harder. For, it's harder just because of the king. Like that graveyard only did 100 damage, which is a great scenario and probably the best best case, like I said, for Droxbill here. And that log will make. Oh my goodness! Is it possible that he just won this? Wait a minute, Fire Spirit. And can you wait? It looks like this might be a win. That's how you beat Lucas X Gamer. That's how you beat Lucas X Gamer right there. That's beautiful. That is beautiful right there. Drock beats Lucas. Only needs one win now to qualify for stage three. Lucas, not in a great spot here. That was a great start for Drock. That, that was perfect. He got the King Tower activated in single. That's about a. I, I can't imagine that going better. 
I can't. That's, that was really well done. Very impressive. Okay, guys, if you're just now getting here, we have, we're in the semifinals right now. We got uh, Ta playing against Nikoko. So we're waiting for Nikoko to be ready. Ta versus Nikoko. These two guys are playing the other end. And okay, obviously, Jirok just won this first game against Lucas. Great start. Can't even enjoy the ending of, to the match. <laughs> yeah. Twitch, guys, Twitch just runs ads. What, what am I supposed to do? They're just going to run ads. Yeah. Exc you remember, guys, exclamation point bracket. If you want to see where your favorite player went wrong, score, it's 1 0 in Drock's favor. He needs to win the next two games. It's 1 0 Drock right now. I'm just, I'm waiting. There's two games to be played. There's games between Ata and and Nikoko. We're waiting, we're waiting for this game to start and uh, Drock versus Lucas. I don't have Lucas's link, but I have the other game. Yeah, Clash Royale games can be decided in seconds. Yeah, yeah, true. That's true. Yeah, that's one thing about Clash. And one mistake might win, it might end the game. Sorry, right, I'll do. We're doing good, man. We're in top four of fifty thousand uh, dollar Bernard Chong Golden Edition. But yeah, I'm. I don't think I don't think uh, Ta and yeah, Twitch is kind of yeah. Sometimes Twitch can be annoying with the ads. I I realize that I, I do I do. And I, I, I do plan on possibly, if I can get my YouTube to be a little bit more popular, I, I might start doing these types of things. If I get an opportunity, I might do it on YouTube in the future. I will be posting Top 8, though, on YouTube, so if y'all want to check it out. Play the game? I'm not I'm not playing it. I'm casting. From Russia? Welcome. Yeah, waiting for the for Drog, and we're waiting for Ta. Who is Bernard Chong? He's a he's an esports funder. He's a really awesome guy. You can follow him on Twitter. He's funded all the Bernard Chong. He's he's sort of behind the scenes working this type of stuff. He's in he's in mobile gaming. Pretty cool guy. I don't think we're doing these games one at a time. If we are, that's kind of annoying. But we do have Drock. How did Drock get King Tower activation? There was he played Skelly's in the center. Skelly's in the center of the board. Pulling the Mega Knight to the middle, then Fire Spirit by the King Tower, pulling the Mega Knight towards the King Tower. Mega Knight jumps twice, activating the King, and it's GG's. Because at that point, the King Tower is activated and it's over. Because it's it's so hard it's so hard to defend. It was it was a bomb tower. I thought it was Skelly's. Am I crazy? Okay, it was his bomb tower and fire. I definitely remember Fire Spirit was played though. Fire Spirit was there. Just waiting. Last two sets. Everybody asks me that. What's my advice? If you're just starting, the best thing you can do is watch these guys. Watch people that know what they're doing better than yourself. It's the best thing you can do to improve. Also, <laughs> quit while you can. Relax, dude. Also, um, take time to like watch your own replays. See where you went wrong. Those are the two things I would recommend. But yeah, still waiting, guys. We still got we get we get two we, only two more sets to go. So when these guys start, we're gonna go in immediately. Could take a minute, but we'll see what happens. But yeah, I really did like just I just like the way that that worked out. Like, there was an absolutely beautiful, beautiful King Tower activation. It wins the game, and that's a, I I would imagine that Lucas probably can't come back from that. Like Lucas played, he played so many important cards in that match. Like he played Mega Knight. He played Graveyard. He played Fireball. I mean, I'm pretty sure he played Fireball. I think he played Arrows. I think he played like a lot of major cards in that set, in that match and, and did not win, which is huge. That might mean that Drock might win this. That was that was a very, very beautiful game by Drock. I, 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 no words. That was just a, a really well done game. I don't know what else to say about it. Like it, he just he he had King Tower activation in single, and I mean, there's not much you could do from then. It's it's pretty much GG at that point. It's my favorite card, Magic Archer. 
Magic Archer. Still not in a game. We're just taking some time. I don't know what's going on. Let me check with admins. Yeah, they're sort of having some problems. We're having some problems with the admins. Okay, great. Best spell? Probably Firewall in this meta, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's saying that having problems between Ta and uh, the other guy, Ta and uh, Nikoko, but we do have game two with Drak right now starting. Right now, Lucas versus Drak winning the game for... Uh, if Drak wins, it's over for Lucas. Lucas needs a win here. Or it's over. And Bait is on the board. Okay. Flying Machine Guards? I would be expecting some form of Lava Hound or some form of Piggies. Those are the only two major decks that normally play Flying Machine. Unless it's something crazy. Yeah, this looks very much like a Lava Hound deck right now. And bait. If, if Lucas is running the Inferno Tower, yeah, Sopro Bros already called that out in chat. If, if if Lucas has yeah, if Lucas has the Inferno Tower, this is very grim for Drock. And Lucas probably wins if he brought if he brought the Inferno Tower. This is this can be very bad. Bait versus Lava, right? But it's more. There's more to it than that. If it's bait with Tesla, Drock's in a great spot. If it's a bait with Inferno, Lucas is in a great spot. Some like individual cards matter a lot in these types of events. Okay, there's there we go. Okay, more damage for Lucas, but this damage doesn't matter. It really matters if if Drock can get through with a single lava push. If Lucas has cannon, oh, if Lucas has cannon, that yeah no, there he, there's no way you're defending this with cannon. That, it's you need you really need to have the Inferno Tower to defend, especially if if Drock has oh beautiful. Beautiful skill of dragons there, taking out the entire Goblin, goblin, uh, goblin Barrel there. Crazy. Nice, nice placement there. Vapor Smiter Control? Nah, I'm pretty sure this is just lava, buddy. In fact, I'm certain it's lava. There's no balloon here. It's just lava. Okay, allowing Lucas more extra damage is maybe a mistake. Lucas is the type of player that will just take the extra damage and run with it. You know, arrows might come down. Okay, sure, that works. Is there, there it is. It's Inferno Tower for, for Lucas, and I would say that Lucas probably wins. It would be very hard to come back from this. Because he only has arrows, and if, if you don't if you play arrows on defense, you can't kill the Dark Goblin. The dark see the dark dark goblin just sits there. If you use your arrows on defense, you can't kill the Dark Goblin, and your entire push gets demolished. I think this is really tough for Drock. I, I, I want to say that this is not impossible to win, but you have to... He, the only way Drock wins this is if he can find a way to block the Inferno Tower. That's might be the only chance. Might be the only chance he can get it. Drock has to do some God Predicts, yeah. That's true. Oh, that might be a mistake. He's already played He's already played the Inferno Tower. You might have an opportunity to play Lava Hound in the back. Oh, wow. Actually, wait, that survived? What? That survived the the dark goblin survived with a minor. That's um, that, that was a mistake by Drock then. Wow. Okay, this is a great spot for Lucas to be in. I think I think Lucas has got this one tied down. There's the lava hound. First time showing it in this game. Wait, is it? Wait, did he play it already? I think he did. Never mind. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. Inferno Tower is crazy, though. This is so hard to get through the Inferno Tower. Oh, wait a minute. That was kind of a bad Inferno. And they actually blocked it. That means this is a serious push now. Flying Machine's going to drop to that Dark Goblin, but where are the arrows on defense? No arrows. Instead, going for guards. And actually, he took no damage, which is a perfect situation. You save the arrows and take no damage. Nice work by Drog there. And Lucas is just doing such a great job here, too. This is really impressive. Need to find a way to block the Inferno, or that's... Because the Inferno melts this and... Maybe a bit aggressive with the rocket. Miner's coming in. Maybe switching lanes here. That seems a bit crazy, but there is Valkyrie on the board. 
So it's kind of hard to do much about... I mean, like, if you go minor guards, like, Valkyrie's a great answer to that. Lucas has a great matchup here. Great deck choice. I would actually imagine that Lucas picked this to counter Drock. I would not be surprised at all. Because Drock's been running this pretty much every game. He's been, he's been running some form of Lava Hound in every single set. Ever, we've been watching him from the majority of this event. Rocket comes in 15 seconds. Yeah, this is GG's. Lucas has got it. Locked down. Nice work. All right. Still one to one in that set. Still one to one. Not even close to over. And we have another game. Here we go. Nikoko versus Ta. And what did I say about Ta? That he's going to run something insane? Okay, there it is. Giant Skelly Tornado with Hog Rider for some reason. Interesting choice. And it's actually winning. He's actually winning with this deck. Confusing the audience. Um, okay, there's the log pushing everything back. How do you kill this magic archer? Kind of important to do that. Oh, wait, wait, tie break? Just in time. Oh my gosh, Ta. What? Wait a minute. He just won with Giant Skelly Nato. With Hog Rider. What? Like, who else, who else would ever play this? Okay, Nikoko's down 0-1 now. That's uncomfortable for Nikoko. Ta wins that with just fireball cycling. We're not in any more games now. I'm sorry we missed part of that. Do y'all want me to... Okay, what do you guys want? I'll let you guys decide in the chat. Do y'all want to see the last game between Drock and Lucas, or do you want me to go to Ta and Crazy Dex? Crazy Dex or last game between Lucas and Drock? Okay, okay, everybody's saying Drock. Everybody, everybody's saying Drock and Lucas. Okay, we'll go to that game whenever that starts. Okay, 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 okay. Game three for sure. I'm not saying, I'm not saying, I'm, whatever you guys want, it's fine. Y'all, y'all picked. Y'all made, y'all made your voice very clear. Everyone wants the, the Lucas match. Lucas already lost top four twice. Right, well, Lucas was already down one game, so he's already made it back. It's like choosing between game seven and the playoffs or game four. Okay, fair enough. What do we want to pick? Okay, well, you have to think about some things. Uh, Lava Hound's not available for Lucas. Sorry, Lava Hound's not available for Drock. Also, Hog's not available for Drock. There's lots of cards he can still run. He can still go graveyard, those types of decks. He can still play maybe something with E-Giant. Yeah, yeah, in the chat, someone's saying, if I was Lucas, I'd snipe E-Giant. Yeah, he's been playing. He's been playing E-Giant and Lava Hound every time. Like I said, I would not be surprised if Lucas sniped the Lava in the last game. Um, and yeah, that would be, that would be not surprising to me if, if he, if he got the snipe there with, with the, uh, you know, Inferno, Inferno Tower, Dark Goblin pick, but if, if, if Drog is trying to be unpredictable, you can't be running E-Giant here because if, you, if I'm Lucas, that's what I'm thinking you're going to play because I'm, I would be, I, if I was Lucas, I'd be on API right now. I'd be looking at everything he's been playing for the past two and a half hours. I'd be sniping all of it. That's what I'd be doing. So if I'm Drock, I know I'm the underdog, and I know I have to play something weird if I'm going to win this game. That's what I'm thinking in my mind. But yeah, imagine imagine if the winner is Drock, man. The community would go insane. Because you know how Lucas' fan base is gigantic. Like, gigantic. Drock is well, relatively unknown by comparison. Well, we have a game. I'm going to show it, but I'll leave mid-game to check. I'll leave mid-game to check on Lucas, okay? I don't want to miss the Lucas game. I'm not interested in missing Lucas. But here we go. We'll start this for a bit. Gold, again, why are you... Ta, ta, man, you're running Golden Knight when Golden Knight's the worst champion, bro. What are you doing? Oh, my goodness. He's running Golden Knight, too? You're crazy. Okay, this looks like it's gotta be Sparky for Nikoko. Gotta be Sparky. Some variation of Sparky is the only thing that makes sense here. There's maybe some, like, Golem deck or something. Maybe P.E.K.K.A. too. Actually, I think it's P.E.K.K.A. I think it's P.E.K.K.A. for... Yeah, and, and it is Sparky. I'll check in about 30 seconds. Sparky vs. Golem? It could be Golem or it could be P.E.K.K.A. 
It can also, yeah, but Tesla makes me think it's not Golem. I don't know why I don't, you don't see Golem Tesla, unless your name is Ta, in which case, it's definitely Golem. Okay, we're going Defensive Graveyard. Okay, Mitch, thank you so much for the Tier 1. Welcome, Mitch, uh, 2198. Okay. Interesting. Hold on, let's go check. We just saw the end of that defense. Still have not, they still have not started their game, guys. Drog and Lucas still have not started. Must be West Coast, West Coast. I never catch your streams. No, I'm I'm Central. <laughs> I'm Central. I just stream late. Because I do school during the day. L add. Okay, guys. It's fine. We're not even... This is not... The Lucas game hasn't even started. The Lucas game has not even started. Not a big deal. Texas, yeah. From Texas. Me and Rich from Texas. Okay, hold on, let me check again. I don't want to miss the Lucas game. I know y'all want to see it. I know y'all want to see the Lucas game. Still has not started between Lucas and... Like your fresh cut? Thank you. It's not actually that fresh, but thanks. Snow, well, there's slow down those... Okay, but I, I... I still find this crazy. No one's taking any damage in this game. At all. Yeah, Taw's winning. Yeah, RS is winning here. With craziness. Oh, Mini P gets a shot. That's huge. That is huge. That is a huge chunk of damage for Nikoko right there. That is massive. Also, guys, if I was if I was Ta, I'd be scared of Lava Clone if Nikoko wins this, because Lava Clone is the next deck for Nikoko probably. And yeah, wow. Another another Sparky push. Hold on one second. Before this gets crazy. Still have not started their game. Okay, here we go. We're back. I want to make sure we don't miss Lucas. That's what I'm... I really don't want to miss Lucas. Because I know everyone here wants to see Lucas. I don't want to miss that game. It has not started. Okay, bro, what are these? I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine going into a competitive... Like, I, I'm, I'm com going into a competitive event and being like, yeah, I'm just going to run Golden Knight with, like, Graveyard and Tesla. Like, or, like, I'm going to run Giant Skelly Hog Rider. Like, only only the Japanese players play this way, and it's so creative and unique, it's just amazing. Like, it's, it's amazing to watch because no one else can get away with it. It's just impressive what these guys can do. It's crazy. Wow, he's gotten everything to go his way here. The Graveyard is blocking everything from the Sparky, which is awesome. And how- oh, the Sparky's gonna get a shot, though. First major shot coming in. I think I might stay here for the end of this game, because the Lucas game still hadn't even started yet. So we'll probably just watch the end of this game and then go to the Lucas game and see what happens there. Looks like Nikoko might even this one up and go to a game three. Because, yeah, like, like I said, the Lucas game had not even started yet. Okay, oh, can we stop the Sparky or can we not? This looks like it's impossible for Todd to stop. Oh, wait, but the E was... It, wow, the E was actually got to the... Wow, I cannot believe that the E was got to the Sparky there. I'm shocked. Gerard's finally coming on offense. First time all game, I think. He's been playing Graveyard and Demons constantly. Finally trying to find an opportunity to play Graveyard as an offensive card. It might be enough. It's very close. Todd might be able to win this game right now. It's tied. It's tied. It's tied. It's tied. Five seconds. Zaps down. GG. Right lane. Nikoko ties it up. Wow. Nikoko ties it up last second. Yeah, no, yeah, no. It was tied on those towers. I mean, yeah, I understand. Nikoko wins right tower, yeah. Still have not started. These The other guys have not started yet. Wow. Dude, I can't even imagine. I don't. Who knows what Tal's going to run next, man? Craziness. You guys play some insane stuff. Amazing gameplay. I mean, I'm, I'm impressed that I, Nikoko really won that because he had so much damage in that first Sparky shot. Ta had to overcommit on defense to make sure he didn't take too much damage. Game three, RS versus Nico. Yeah, 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 yeah. They haven't started. They still have not started. I'm still waiting. They're running slow today? Yeah, yeah. The the the, uh, the the admins are saying they're having some problems today. I don't know what the problems are. I didn't ask. But I mean, the other the other casters are complaining. So <laughs> the other casters are upset. 
we don't want to be we don't want to be dragging this event on too long. But we still have two more games left. Uh, two game number threes, big matches to determine who's going to qualify for the last bit of this event for the stage three. Wow, that that was tied. That was tied. I'm fairly certain that was tied on the cross on the opposite side towers. But then like the goblin giant came just in time and was able to make that a close game. A win for Nikoko. Wow, that was very impressive. <laughs> very impressive. Five total games left? Yeah. Well, at a, at a max. At a max. It's a maximum of five games left. It's It cannot be more than five games. It can be four, at least. There are at least four games left today. But yeah, we're still waiting. Like I, I'll show you guys. I'm, I'm just, I'm just waiting for these guys to start. They're still not even in a game. Drakspiel and Drakspiel and uh, and Lucas have not started their game yet. Still not started. If is it top two go through? There, there, there will be a winner today. And the reason why there's a winner is because they'll, they'll seed it so that someone who won plays against someone who got second on another day. So someone who wins one day will play. Someone who got second on the other day, and someone who gets second on one day will play against someone who won on another day. If that makes sense. Basically, the players don't. Most players probably really don't care about, you know, winning or losing the this the second the, the last game. They really only care about qualifying. I would imagine. I mean, this is the game that really matters. These these last two games here are the ones that are really going to decide it all. Still not even starting. If y'all are looking for decks, I see some of y'all asking about decks, check my YouTube page. I will be posting top eight on YouTube, uh, unedited, just just straight from stream, just unedited uh, YouTube post. I'm recording it right now. Winner gets easier competition. Yes, that's correct. The winner, they'll, they'll be playing it for the win, so the winner gets easier competition on stage three. That's all it is. It's all all these players really care about those qualifying. I would imagine that's what they really care about. Guys, I mean, the person who gets second is still insane. Like, the person who gets second today is still just a nutty player. Like, that's just true. These guys are doing so well. I mean, these guys are now in round number seven. And have... Yeah, that's why, yeah, Sobro was saying easier. Yeah, but still, it's not... It's not easier. Like, these guys are all insane. Like, if you're making... Even making round six, like, you're clearly nuts. Look at the competition they're playing against. Betfus, Viper, Mo, Sam... Samuel Basoto, Mugi, The Lost, KK, Hugo, Faust, Hajime, Ian, and Mikin Buya? No one wants to play any of those dudes in a, in a, in a winner-take-all. Does first day winner play last day runner-up? I would imagine that's sort of how it works, yes. It's definitely not winner, first day winner plays second day winner. It's not like that. It, it would be something like that. Maybe even better to lose, it might be better to lose in purpose. I actually like that take. If, especially if you know what day you're on. So like, okay, if I'm qualifying day seven, I'd rather play against the person who won on day two than the person who lost on day two. Yeah, that makes sense. Who's Mikin Buya? He's from Japan. His name is his name on Twitter is Orange Boy. Um, he's known for he, he was in he played for Ponos in 2018 World Finals in China, I believe. I'm pretty sure that's correct. Ponos 2018 World Finals. Um, they did fine, but they did not win. I believe. I think it was Nova that won that year. If I'm, if I'm not mistaken, still no game. I'm going to go check with the admins. Yeah, it looks like we're just waiting. These guys, these players are being very careful with these last cards, these last choices. They're all online. Thought Morton qualified? No, Morton actually got eliminated in like round three today. I believe Morton lost to Asaf from Israel. The Goblin Drill God. Yeah. Yeah, Asaf is the one the one guy that I always have on my channel. I always have got Asaf here because I mean no one else ha no one else knows who Asaf is, man. He beat Morton today. I mean, but people don't people have never heard of this dude. He's just still insane. I'm 
dude wow can't believe it's taking so long in here okay actually y'all y'all are gonna be y'all gonna be mad guess who started their game not lucas nikoko and ta again lucas and drock still not playing still not playing a soft these guys are in again okay and of course ta's playing wizard because obviously obviously ta's playing wizard because it's ta A lot of players. Uh, I would imagine that most of the community doesn't know who As Asaf is. <laughs> Here we go. Mega Knight jumps tower and already huge damage. This looks like clone for Nikoko. Yeah, this looks like a win already for Ty. Like, wow. Wh <laughs> who pulls out Wizard in this situation, man? You gotta be crazy. Mid ladder deck to qualify for. To qualify for stage three, man. Why not? Why not? If it works, it works. And of course it's wall breakers. Of course. Of course it's wall breakers with wizard. Of course. Yeah. And oh, he even baited out the night witch. <laughs> he even got the night witch out. Nice. Miner takes out that, and now Prince is crushing. Like you're taking out the entire night witch. Great situation. <laughs> of course. Of course it's a wizard and zero qualifiers. Hold on, hold on guys, I'm just gonna check. I'm gonna check real quick. I wanna make sure we see Lucas, because not everyone wants to see Lucas. Still not in a game. Still not in a game. Still not in a game. I don't know what's going on. I'll try to part when 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 it's in. Okay. Thank you. Oh, cl oh, but the clone! It was clone, I was right, it was clone. The clone is huge damage for, for Nikoko, and it's almost back to equality. It's only a five, six hundred damage difference now. Wow. These guys both playing out crazy. These are not the types of decks you would expect. Like, if you, if, if you like, go to CRL and, like, think about, like, what you're gonna expect to see, like, this is not it. And I think, I think, testament to Nikoko, he knows he's playing against a crazy guy who'll play anything, and he's playing this crazy thing himself. I would be thinking about Inferno Dragon to Kaylee Flying Machine. There it is. Flying Machine is going to be dropping here. Prince is going to be going after that bomber. Nice. Good situation. Yeah, Pro, if you could tell me in chat when they're starting, that'd be great. That'd be awesome. But this looks like it might be almost over. Wallbreakers will connect and Ta will be advancing. That's it. Ta will be going stage three. Another Japanese player qualifies, and with Wizard of all cards. Wow. I don't really know what else to say. Um, because, I mean, whoever that guy's manager is, is probably furious. But he's probably happy now. Yikes. Imagine, imagine, go <laughs> imagine going into the, a game, the game that wins a, a thousand dollar match, and picking, you know, I'm just gonna go wizard. You know, wizard, wall breakers, Mega Knight, you know, I'll throw in a wizard. Why not? <laughs> Crazy. They'd be, sleep <laughs> they'd be sleeping on Harry Potter. I mean, true. I mean, it worked. It did work. I can't imagine that. It's gotta be, gotta be insane. Yeah, it will be Ta versus the winner of Lucas and Drock. Is this live? Yes. Twitch is always live, man. Eh? It's the point of Twitch. It's always live. Nico goes overconfident after after watching Wizard. Yeah. Racket's done. I I'm still waiting for Drock. I don't know what's going on with Drock. They... they Yeah, we're just waiting. Two tall games, but yeah, they they finished two entire games before they even started a match. Yeah, it's crazy to me. I don't know. But yeah, well, what a, I can't even imagine. Like, imagine the confidence to go in with a wizard in a game to qualify for a thousand dollar plus tournament. And you know what? He probably did that because he saw that Nikoko was running Lava Clone earlier. So you go, you bring wizard for it. Opinion on, on Chicken Alfredo? Delicious. Delicious. Good question. Great question. Luke is about to pull out Inferno Tower Zappy's P.E.K.K.A. Yeah, the, I, I don't necessarily buy that.
Can't use Inferno Tower. I used it last game. He did use Inferno already. Yeah, that's true. He did use Inferno Tower. Um, but you can't... Well, he can still use Inferno Dragon, though, right? So, I've gotten ads every 15 minutes. That's what it's supposed to... That's what Twitch does. I can't make it much lower. I can make it maybe slightly lower, but I can't do much lower than that. He will use Mortar. Okay, sure. Mortar doesn't sound so crazy to me. Mortar's, uh, Mortar's pretty good in general. Like, it just... It works against a lot of things. It's very common. Good archetype in general. Make sure to spell bracket correctly. I do want to say before we end the qualifiers portion of today, uh, thank you again to everyone who followed. We had a lot of you guys follow today. Um, remember, you guys do get a free emote here. And not that anyone really cares about that, but... Um, Cash has them every 45 minutes, but Zach has them every 15. You can't make them every 45 minutes. That's literally impossible. That's literally impossible. <laughs> I think I think maybe you can make them every thirty, but that usually has to be longer. It usually have to be longer ads. I'll have to look into that. Morton is top ten. Uh, never heard of Drop before the level fourteen update. Who is he, and why is he so good? I mean, there's there's thousands of Clash Royale players that are really really solid. There's thousands of them. Thousands of them. And I think part of the reason why I don't know them is because maybe they're not quite as world class as the others, but that doesn't mean they're not amazing. That e giant main, right? But that doesn't mean you play e giant in the situation. I'm checking with the admins. Okay, they just the admin just typed in the chat starting right now, so should be getting started right now. Wow. I still can't even believe Ta. Like, it may, I mean, this guy's got to be world class now. I mean, right? I mean, I mean, 20, 2021 CRL. I mean, he won a world. Uh, he won a monthly final, completely unheard of. Now back again, playing craziness, qualifying again. Got to be a solid player now. Got to be seriously thinking about this guy as a top player nowadays. I mean, he does play. Cra he plays probably crazier than anyone else. Like, I, I don't think anybody else plays crazier than that. Still just waiting for this game. They must be having some, like... They, they were talking about having a glitch where, like, someone's requesting a game, but the other person can't see it. Bag plays crazier? Are you sure, though? Really? Bag plays cra I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know, man. I don't know if I believe that. Whoever wins the final today, do they get a badge in their profile in game? I don't think so. I don't think so. Clash Royale is highly addicted. They should put this on Google Play. It is. Clash Royale is on Google Play. <laughs> Pablo, what's going on, bro? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, guys, I don't know what's going on. How do we get the free emote? You just have to follow. It should already be in your in your box. You already should have it as your emote. No, you're, you you got confused. You get a free emote on Twitch. You don't get a free emote in game. That's not how that works. There are no drops in Clash Royale today. You get a free Twitch emote. It's with kings with thumbs up. I want Drak to win, but Lucas deserves it. Morton is trying to find a match for ten minutes. Who knows what's going on nowadays, bro? I mean... Still not found a match. There it is. Shane, thank you for the follow. Chip the King, thank you for the follow. Junk, Newt, thank you for the follow. Myththar, thank you for the follow. Rome, thank you for the follow. Power2k, thank you for the follow. Thank you guys, I do appreciate you all. Just some of you guys that just followed recently. But man, dude, I don't even know. What can we do? Oh my gosh, it's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's Droxville versus Lucas. The final countdown. And Quake for Lucas, and I'm going to say that it's Mortar. Looks like it's probably Mortar. Skarmy's out already. King Tower activation already as well. Drox got King. 
If this is a graveyard, I already don't like this. Oh, wait, maybe? Wait, is this? Wait. Ramsey's deck? Ramsey's deck with Mother Witch and Skarmy. Wow. Wow. Shocking. I did not expect to see this one at all. Ramsey's deck with RG and Mother Witch, looks like. If it's Mother Witch here, this is a win, I think. Because you're, well, maybe not. I don't, know, I don't even know how to describe this. Quake comes down and shuts down everything, but Lucas has no elixir. That is a thousand damage, if not more, already for Drock. Yeah, Ramsey, and I think I think he's playing it with with. Uh, yeah, if it's Mother Witch, this is this is this is this could be grim. Because I mean, it's kind of hard to play. Well, actually, I do like having guards for Lucas. Hogs on the board, nice. Drock taking the King to activation. Excellent work. This looks like a win for draw. I, I don't want to call it too early, but it looks really good. It looks good. Hog can be annoying, especially because of the Quake Cycle, though, so we can't really call it too early. It might also be Lightning, so... It could be Lightning's an option here. It could also be Fireball. It could be Poison. Actually, can't, I'm gonna... No, I'm, I'm wrong. It's not Poison. It's not Poison. It's gotta be either Fireball... Or a lightning. Serious lead. I don't really know about playing same lane as the RG. I might go opposite if I was playing the hog deck, but okay. Sure. Muskie gets not too much value. Okay. Okay, now the point is you've played your king, and if the skele skeletons die, then of course your king gets fully charged on the left, so now the king will be fully charged now. Excellent value from the firecracker. Log coming in, nice. Yeah, now another RG is being cycled. Okay, Fisherman will need to be played here. Okay, actually, maybe he just goes for O. Oh. Does Lucas know? Wow. Wow. If Lucas would have quaked there, that could have been a significant chunk off of, off of Drox Wheels Tower. I guess he just didn't have it. That would have been a huge push, too. That would have been insane. And also, I don't even know how you're defending against this double Firecracker situation. There's two of them on the board right now. Is there any card more annoying than the Firecracker? I don't know. Oh, and he's, he got away with he gets away with delivery there to defend everything. That's some serious chip though. Yeah, this looks really good for Lucas now. It was a good start, but yeah, this looks pretty bad nowadays. This point in the game, now it's bad. No, look at that look at that damage. Now you need he needs an RG push right now. Lucas can just cl uh, clutch this game with a quake, and it will be Lucas and Ta in the finals. If Lucas can get to a quake, I think quake's enough, right? Okay, Hog comes down. Nah, it's actually the cleanest way to win, because you can't play Fisherman because the, the recruit's blocking. And Lucas. Well, Lucas X Gamer is going to stage three. Excellent work by Lucas. Great job controlling the game. Um, unfortunately, Drog wasn't able to... made a great run. He, played, he, did, he did a really good job. Unknown player, and definitely going to be on everybody's radar now. But yeah, Lucas, well done. Getting getting the job done on day seven. He did it. Well done, Lucas. Brazil pride. We have Brazil and Japan qualifying, and now we have one more one more set today. Our last set is about to start. We still have Ta versus Lucas in the final round, and then we'll be done. Finally, we can go a day without him complaining on Twitter. Uh, uh, yes. I mean, I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. But it's okay. I don't mind it too much. Yeah, it is what it is. But yeah, wow, Lucas. Lucas did what he needed to do, and he didn't even play Mortar. What would he have done against D-Giant there? Isn't RS versus Lucas? Yes, that's correct. RS, yeah, RS is Ta. And we'll be seeing some crazy decks, of course. These guys aren't even online. <laughs> They're not even online right now. Neither one of them is. Wow. An amazing try. I mean, you gotta give credit to Drock because he played a crazy, he played really well. He played a crazy good tournament. 
He eliminated a lot of good players. But it's over. They both still qualify? Uh, yes. Ta and Lucas are both qualified. No, no, they're, they're in. They're in. Those are your two qualifiers, guys. That's it. Just had to be top two. Yeah, just had to be top two, and they're they're good. They're they're done. It is versus. It's basically it's seeding for stage three. That's what we're doing now. We're seeding for stage three. Then we're done for today. I don't know who's casting tomorrow. Um, but it won't be me. So we'll see who that is. But yeah, it is it is Lucas and uh, Ta in grand finals. Rich is casting, I think they said. Okay. 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 Who's Rich Slayton? Who even is that guy? Yeah, we're just waiting for Ta to get ready. We'll be spectating from Ta's point of view. I don't again I don't have Lucas's link, but it's fine. Not a big deal. Part of me, now that Lucas is qualified, part of me wants Ta to win because I mean I want to see the crazy decks work, you know? So Morton has one last chance, it's correct, but really, Morton has tons of chances because Morton will be able to play in basically any of the monthly tournaments. We're really playing for one golden ticket. That's really what's happening here. We're playing for a golden ticket. There's there's eight golden ticket tournaments throughout the year. So this is only for the first tournament. There's like seven more tournaments that haven't even started yet. What do I study? I'm an engineer. Engineering science. Engineering science. But yeah, Morton deserves it. Morton deserves so much in Clash. I, honestly, honestly, dude, no one has ever gotten more second place finishes and not gotten a first place finish, I think. It's a sad story, but I really truly believe that Morton will win something before the end of his career. I believe he'll win something. At least once, you know, like he deserves a win. After all this time, especially after the one HP game, like after literally coming as close as it can get. I feel you got you gotta feel for the guy, you know what I mean? You know if Molite won his day or got second? No, I do not. I do not know. I do know that he. I think he won his day on the same day as Moogie did. And here we go. Here we go. Game one. Why is Ta in a grand challenge? Never mind. Ta in a grand challenge for some reason. What? I'm so confused. What is happening? Did he win against Misoto? I don't know. Who <laughs> guessed the first day? I don't know. I I would I think it was probably Cash. I think it was cash. I don't think Molite won on day one. Mo day one was Viper. Viper won day one, I think. I think it was Viper. Molite was day three with Moogie. Mo Moogie and Moo... Uh, Moogie and Moo. Mo uh, Moogie and uh, Molite won on the same day. But yeah, I don't know who has the first day. Uh, but yeah, I hope I get to come back. I mean, it's, it's a pleasure of mine to do these types of things. Really fun to do these types of events. Really love doing this stuff. Always comes down to the wire. These events. They're trying, they're trying to request games between each other, but they can't for some reason. Like, it's not working, if that makes sense. Like, it, it's just not working for them. Well, um, what, what one second day? I, I can't remember which day it was. I didn't know. I didn't know which day it was that, that happened.
I'm just waiting for them to start. Molet's crazy good. Right, right, yeah. The, it's going to be these guys against Molet in Stage 3. So I hope I get a chance to cast in Stage 3. That'd be cool. But yeah, the game, the tournament's kind of dying down now. We're, we're kind of done. The qualifiers have already been determined. Of course, we do have one last set to finish off with today. Whenever they get started. But yeah, still struggling. Can't make... It's like, it's what's they're telling us that they can't actually request games from each other. Well, what can we do? But yeah, wow, what a, what a, a climactic finish. Um, running Wizard in the game that decides it all. Wow. Wizard from Ta. And Lucas playing against an E-Giant guy. He playing, playing against an E-Giant guy and not running Tornado, not running Mortar, any of those types of main counters. He went Hog, which is bad against E-Giant, and still won. Here we go. Lucas versus Ta. One of Bernard Chong, Golden Edition, first place of day seven. There's some chip damage. Nice. Good start for Ta. Lucas doesn't care anymore. He's already qualified. Golem, Nightwitch. Good start. Golem, first play. And Clone is on the board. Princess is on the board. Is there an Arrows? Oh, well, he tried to NATO everything together, but that didn't work. And Ta just has a nice Princess set up. And Lucas is sorry. Okay. Well, I think I think Lucas knows like he's in, so he's not really. He's just trying to play for fun now. Now Lucas is going wizard. Both players give the respect to the wizard. Let's see. A log opportunity, something like that. There's gotta be a log. Okay. Oh my! Wow. <laughs> Who said it was an, a strategy to lose on purpose? Bro, what what is going on today? What are these dudes doing? I mean, okay, Golem Eagle is very toxic. I mean, come on. Come on, Lucas, man. Okay, Lucas is just giving the game away. That appears to be what's happening. Yeah, it looks like Lucas is going to concede. And give Ta the win. Maybe Lucas wants to play against whoever got first place the other day. Oh my... Okay. <laughs> oh, he goes for he goes for double, double golem lava. There we go, double golem lava in the championship game because he knows he's already qualified, so he's good. But okay, we'll be starting the next game again very shortly, I'm sure. Wow, Chad Gamer, <laughs> why not? Why not, man? People are gonna hate. Why? Why? Why are you gonna hate Lucas on this? Lucas thinks he's Lu Lucas thinks he's better off playing against whoever got first the other day, so he wants to get second. Is it disrespectful? I mean, he's already qualified. It's Both players are already in. They're, they're already in. Maybe he seriously thought he could win with that. I don't know. Why not? Why not, right? On the bright side, though, for Lucas, he has saved a lot of cards for his next matchup. I'm he saved a lot of cards for his next matchup. Just waiting for this next game to start with, with Ta. Ebarb's Rage next. Did he use Rage last game? I don't remember. I don't think he did. My opinion on chicken sandwiches with ranch dressing? Ranch is nasty. Don't at me. Here we go. Game two. Oh, group... Uh, next phase is two groups around Robin. They're playing seven of the players. Okay. Okay. So they're probably playing against four winners and three second place players. Makes sense. Lucas Skelly King Bomber. Okay. Okay. Now trying to go for something else. 
Balloon is, wow, Balloon is just getting damage. And okay, Tal activates the king, and... Balloon, Graveyard, Zappies. Uh, Lucas, Lucas falling to Tal right now. Lucas playing crazy stuff now. Why not? I mean, you already qualified, right? That's what I said. And it makes sense to me. I mean, I mean, if, if you're, if you're going to sweat four hours and really work and try to win, and you get it, just have some fun. March 17 through 20. 16 players will divide them into two groups of eight. Top four from each Grand Master Grand Finals, yeah. Grand Finals, probably double Elam, I would, I would imagine. But even getting to this far, getting this far is so impressive and, and just really well done. Like, you gotta, you gotta hand it to the people that have made it this far. Yo, Mo, thank you for the follow. Link59, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream, guys. Yeah, oh, okay, dude, this is just a skeleton. He's playing all skellies and zappies. It's all skellies and recruits. Lucas with the crazy. And and Taz just kind of letting it happen. What is that deck? It's a meme. He's just messing around. And you know, it is what it is. I mean, oh, defensive graveyard, that works. It won't defend me, that. Flash Royale should have a mystery box blob card. Every time it's... What? That's interesting, never ever. That's interesting, I don't know about that. Interesting, mystery box, a card? Hmm. Terrell finals? <laughs> a bit greater than my grandpa's birthday. Mitch. Come on, Mitch. Okay, so Tal's taking this seriously. Tal wants to win. Lucas seems to just be messing around. But yeah, I mean, okay, just Skelly's good. Dark Prince will probably... Oh, no, it doesn't lock the tower. Magic Archer will get some shots. Oh, not quite. Dark Prince did too much work for Tal. Tal wishes that it was... He's turning 69. Nice. Why are we NATOing this in? This is so weird to me that he's NATOing it in every time. Lucas going for a naked graveyard. King Tower. Oh, King Tower is even activated. Lucas. Okay, now we're. <laughs> Lucas, what are you doing, my man? I'm so confused. If you're going to give the game away, give the game away. We got one more game. Both sides missing around? Okay, well, they're already qualified, so yeah. Who knows, man? Uh, it's kind of funny. I mean, you know, they're they're done. They're done, and they 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 know they did it. So they're. I mean, what do you expect? You know what I mean. All right, one more game. One more game, and we're done for today. Don't you get more money if you win today. No, both players won a thousand dollars. Both players won a thousand U.S. dollars, and uh, they're playing in a fifty thousand dollar tournament now. So. Based on how they perform in the next part, the rest of the pool is 50 grand. So, I don't think they get extra money. I think they just get what they get. I don't know. Sorry, I, 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 don't, I, don't, I, don't, know I don't know exactly what the pool, pool is. Of course, I'm sure if you guys follow Bernard Chong, it will... Um, it, it's, it's Bernard Chong. It's, it's Bernard Chong, their, their tournament. You can, you can follow by Bernard Chong. It will tell you all that type of stuff. Win determines seating. Yes, that's correct. It's possible that they just wanted to be done, you know? Because why not? I mean, if you're done, you're done. Makes sense. Almost done here. We just need one more game, and here we go. Last game of the day. Oh my gosh. That's Elixir Pump Rage. Okay, this is over. <laughs> this is just over. Oh, freeze on defense. Hold on. It's okay. Oh, clone giant skelly. That's tower down. Yeah, GG's. That's tower down. Last Yeah, tomorrow's last round of stage two. I believe Rich will be hosting.
What I wonder what the win con is here. It's gotta be like Elixir Gold. Actually he already used that so he can't play that. Okay. Giants killer bomb actually killed troops, that was a good times, yeah. Crazy. Just got home from work, yeah. We're almost done. This is the last game. Qualifiers are finished. This is the last game, and Lucas is just messing around. He knows he's already qualified. What is happening? Okay, Lucas is being the ultimate disrespectful Chad. <laughs> it's over. It's over. I, I, don't, I don't think the other, other events went like this. You know? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Expo Pump. That's a serious archetype, guys. Expo Pump is a real archetype, okay? No more Lucas Slender now. He's clearly trying. He's clearly trying to win here. But yeah, who do you guys want me to send y'all to after this is over? Y'all want a specific- I could, I could raid Morin or somebody. Safe? Yeah? You don't think I should send him Morton? Okay, safe, sure. Sure, sounds good to me. Ian played Pumbo yesterday. Yeah. Morton is cool, we had a big hose yesterday from... Morton is the guy that gives the hosts. I'll, I'll send you to save after this. Okay. Is that even enough to take the tower? Oh, Lucas is going expo with a rage. Two seconds left, no time. GG's. Well, that's it, guys. Lucas, X Gamer, and Ta. Ta taking the first place seed. What are these decks? I don't know, man. They're just, they just know they're done. Uh, Lucas and Ta are today's qualifiers. So congratulations to those guys. I'm going to be ending today. Um, I might stream again later. I'm not sure. I'm very tired. Obviously, I've been streaming for about five hours. Exactly five hours. Um, but yeah, I'm going to see you guys over to safe. Um, hope you guys enjoy. Um, thank you all so much for sticking it out and hanging out in the Brunard Sean Cup.